Welcome back to episode 3 of the Solar Series. Hope you have an amazing day. And in today's video, we do countless raids, including some online raiding for some insane loot. Also, loads of PvP. And as always, make huge upgrades to our unraidable location and much, much more. Let's see if we can smash 1,000 likes on the video. Also, 80% of the audience that do watch my videos are not subscribed. So make sure you smash that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Starting this one off with a raid on one of the ocean pillars. They had a decently sized base on one of them. So I thought I could gain some huge loot out of the raid. So let's see what we get. The biggest mistake this tribe made was they didn't cut down any of the trees or any of the terrain around their base. So I could just use this to LOS their turrets and run up further. So I now had blown a hole in the wall. Now what I need to do is come back here with another set of flak and some more explosives and I could get into the base. What the hell? Alright, there's a blind spot here. Like, I don't know how you get a blind spot on this base like this, but there is. Alright, I just need to chill out. Don't do anything stupid. Heal up. I've got enough med brews here. Just heal. And I'm good. The reason why that didn't blow because it was a large metal, a uh, large wall rather than a small. There we go, and the base is down. Indie Forge, it had, had an Indie in here. Power gen. Why would you put your gem there? All places. Take all that charcoal. Uh, let's get these fabricators down. Hopefully, they actually have some loot in them and not like the Indie. Tech Raptor. Oh, it's a Tech Raptor. <laughs> Oh my god. I hear a stalker. I hear a stalker. Oh, I think, I think it's, I think it's, uh, not mad. Yeah, it's not mad, it's not mad. Right. See you later. I will show you the loot in a second. I just need to get out. Let's see how much but it's alright, there's no point in me staying over here now. I'm just gonna double check there's nothing. Are we good? Before I do show you guys the loot, I would just like to say my server GB7XARC is wiping tomorrow. Make sure you go join the Discord top link in the description. It's one of the most populated servers with duo tribe limits and 15x rates and many many more features you guys will love. We are planning on having the biggest and best wipe so hopefully I will see you guys there. I would also like to say thank you for our amazing year on YouTube. You guys have literally changed my life. I know that's weird to say me making ARC videos changing my life but it truly has in many ways. It's mad to think we started this year with 3,100 subscribers and now we've got 35,000. I can't put into words how grateful I am for each and every one of you guys. But anyway, let's jump straight back into the video. Right boys, I'm now going to show you the loot that I did gain from that raid. Let me just get back to my stalker. What is it doing? Right, there we go. Uh, we've got loads of poly, loads of poles, literally every resource really. Loads of decent saddles. I mean, I'm not really going to use uh, Rexes. Maybe I might use Rhinos. Uh... So yeah, that's decent. A rock golem saddle, loads of stone, which is very helpful because you obviously need that for CP. Uh, so I'll take that. That's a very decent raid. So yeah, as this was still day one of wipe, that was some huge loot to upgrade the base and even raid more people with. So let's jump into the next raid. I was scouting around the Arctic and I found a stone base without any turrets, but this early on, anything's profit, so I decided to blow into it. Right, this hasn't been raided. I know it's a stone base, but anything's profit right now and to be honest i've been scouting for a while and there's not many raids so this is the best we're getting at the moment and this don't have any uh loot in it don't look like do one more c4 see what the smithy has inside and the story box okay that was very worth it okay that's why you do raid these sorts of bases that was so worth it. Oh my god. That was really worth it. Okay. Thank you. Decent, decent, uh, fabbies. Nothing much, though. There we go. We'll take that. Let's TP that straight back. 
drop these shards off. We got quite a lot there. Like, I, it's not enough for a replica. Oh, it's like five, ten. Quite a lot, yeah. So I was scouting around the lunar biome, and I found a very OP location that was built in. But they didn't have their turrets powered, but they had them placed. So I thought this would be the perfect time to jump in and try to gain some loot. Why does that look unpowered? Unpowered. Find you. What are you gonna do, Bowler? Right, he's gone. I still was also gone. I need to hit this shot. Oh my. There we go. Thank God for that. My accuracy is normally half decent. That was just shocking. That's embarrassing. Oh my God. Let's go. Smithy. Good profit. I don't know why he was unpowered. Why, why, why was his base unpowered there? That's weird. decent amount of metal after that i then went over to the mag den as i wanted to farm some ellie shards i know i didn't have tech grammys yet but when i do i don't have to go out and then farm all the ellie at once i can just do a little ellie run after that i then came over to gen 2 because i just wanted to scout around the map but i came across some guy that was in his base and came out to pvp me Oh, we had a shotgun. Gun, there's no point even bothering on this map. That is zero point. They're online. I'm definitely not going to be able to rate that. They look quite efficient at what they do because they've already got tech up and it's literally like, what, 12 hours into white? So, <clears throat> yeah, they'll probably be one of the bigger tribes on the server. I don't know if I can do boss with that. I might actually be able to do the boss with that. I'm not too sure. Maybe. I basically do this near enough every wipe and that's just scout around the border of gen 2. You normally find a lot of bases so that's exactly what I've done here. What is this? Oh it looks like a little starter base. I'm gonna just break it like that. I'm not even gonna use this super on this. I'm just gonna swipe it. With bags for the forges. Even better. Sometimes in these bases contain more loot than like the fully be built rat holes in that. They think they're not going to get found. But literally all you have to do is just search the corner of the map. And look at that. Like literally. An indie forge worth of metal. Uh, pearls. Even more. Oh my god. This is mad. This is just ridiculous. The kind of loot. That I can get from these sort of raids. This is why you always scout the edge of the map guys. Literally. It's always people out here. Thinking they're hidden from everyone. And not going to get found. And you get this type of loot. I then felt like I needed to upgrade my base a little bit more. Because people were advancing and getting better flak than prim. And this may be possible to raid. I very much doubt it. But anyway, I'm going to be safe and do some upgrades. So I've made some huge upgrades to the base as I'm going to show you now. I've walled off the cliff plat as it can't get stalker dash now. Which is a lot more defendable. Uh, even though I don't think you'll be able to stalker dash that many turrets. But you never know. Also, I've added some uh, Indie Forges up here, which they're going to be my main ones right here. The only two really is needed. I've got three down at the moment, uh, but this one will get destroyed for when I get a replicator. 
and for now that's all that I really need we're really fat on resources from these small little raids uh, that I keep doing and I'm just gonna keep doing them and finding more hopefully after that I came over to Val and into the ab zone because I knew there would be a lot of hidden bases and there was there was a hidden cliff plat in like the tree so I decided that I could grapple glitch it so let's give it a try oh, it's one of them There we go. Oh my god. Don't know how I survived that. Alright, let's see what's in it. He's sleeping. One, two, I might need that. You never know. Smithy. Bunch of saddles. I can't see if there's any good saddles. Fabricator. Fabby BP. A decent Fabby BP, you know. Not bad Fabby BP. Refining. Decent metal. They haven't been here for a minute. Refining Forge. <clears throat> More refining forges. Finding mortar and pestle. Yeah, that's so much profit just from a little raid like that. Love it. Like loads of metal, but do I chance it and take all this metal? Yeah, I mean it don't take long to get, does it? It's four man tribes, so I've got two of them, so even if two does come back, I've got a fairly decent chance of uh killing them. How many bullets? 34, not a lot. So all in all, a very profitable raid considering the amount of time it took me. So on the server that I play, there's actually custom drops and some give you some really good saddle BPs. So I decided to farm the drops for a little bit over an ab because they respawn so quick. And I struck a little bit lucky and I did get a stego BP, but it's not the best BP. I feel like we're moving really quick in this video, but I came over to Extinction and I got into a little bit of PvP. Some random guy was just running up the ramp, so obviously I'm going to try to engage with him and kill him. What? There's a random guy here. And just... He nearly killed my stalker. My stalker's basically useless at this point. It isn't actually. Just have to... Oh, why did he have to get my stalker this low? Where did he even come from? He must have been doing a raid somewhere. I need to find that raid hopefully. So I found a base over an extinction and it was pretty big. So I'm going to see what damage I can cause because there's a lot of LOS issues in this base. And I think I can get underneath it and cause a lot of damage. Bro, I can just LOS all this base. Thing is, as soon as I blow some pit. He knows I'm here. So I want to try to like do it secretly, but I can't really. This shit in his base right now. Right, he's here. Come on, pick me. I'm right here, bro. Come on, pick me. Perfect.
So, in this situation, I bet you can guess what's going to happen. So I nearly got that base down. Yeah, I wasn't going to get out of that one. So I found a base that was built in one of my locations that I built in in the previous series. And I tried to do something sneaky. And I guess you'll see what happens. You want to play with me? And then he, he's like, I have an unreadable base location. And then he sent me a link to your video. I slid, off, I, slid off the edge. I slid off the edge, man. I literally just slid straight off the edge. And died. Yeah, I didn't really mean to do that, but what I should have done in that situation, just whipped out my rocket launcher and shot one rocket, because it is actually 6x in there. So I was looking around the Luna for some Stegos, but then came across some PvP, so obviously I'm going to take the opportunity and PvP the guy. How is my guy trying to bowl? Get out of here, boy. <laughs> I'm shocking with combos, but I mean, I still killed that kid. That's how OP they are. They literally have to hit, like, hit someone two times. Once in the head, once in the body, and they kill them. So, like, that's OP. I think he was trying to tame Stegos. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe he was. But this thing's too low now. I mean, I can jump on, on it and then... Uh, See. Now on to the Stego taming. Let's hope we get lucky and get some good HP. Just when everything was going smoothly, this happened. That is a big rip. I had to mute the clip because I was playing copyrighted music. Anyway, I came back to the scene where I died, got my body and everything inside of it and the Stego. The Stego turned out really trash, so that's not too great. But at least I got my kit back. 4.1k. Are you having a joke with me? 4.1k, that's like the worst I could have got. That is actually disgusting. I want to transfer off the server though. What I'm going to do... RIP my stalker. Because the server shut down. I may as well not waste time and like go PvP somewhere. So in this clip, you're going to see me find a base right next to mine. And I was actually in a call with some people that I was about to do a trade with. So if you hear loads of voices, that is why. Does. Good wipe so far. Uh, it's, it's been alright. It's not too bad. Not right. too bad. Oh my god! There's a guy that put a cliff plant next to mine. Got like turrets, yeah. And I just got yeah. a ferry off his body. Of 10k HP and like 405 melee. Parasol oh a lot. Is that leveled? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of no. course it's leveled. Yeah. Nah, no, it's just <laughs> like know. 10k pop. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. I'm coming northeast, right? Yeah. Nathan, oh, I got a boots BP. 419 boots BP. Nice. Have you got a full set of flak? No. Oh. We're doing really bad on flak. <laughs> yeah, we, we are. Because I couldn't tame any good stegos, I decided to do a trade, and these guys had 7.4k stegos, which is pretty good for this early on. So let's do the trade. Scam by gb 7 <laughs> right, so stalker, stalker. Right, if if one of them dies, let me know and I'll uh, reimburse you with another one because. Oh, that that language, the reimburse. Yeah, <laughs> bring it out. Too often. Yeah. You don't hear that. You don't hear that much too often. These Discord. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the struggle. I had to bring my blood stalkers in this small of a space, but you know we done it in the end, so it's fine. So sadly, that is going to be where we have to end today's video, and I believe this is the last one of the year. I'd just like to say a massive thank you to each and every one of you guys who have liked my video, commented, subscribed, or even just viewed it. It truly means the world, and you guys have literally changed my life. I know it's mad to think that, but you actually have. 
Anyway, if you haven't made this far into the video, please put G71 in the comments so I know I made this far, which honestly means more than anything. Anyway guys, have an amazing rest of the day or night, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you in the next one.